Wow, this is fantastic. My goodness. I'm gonna start here and walk you through so you can see all of the changes. Um, there's so many things that you're able to do here that may not be apparent. So we wanna take the time and walk you through. You may recall if you visited the branch previously um, that this used to be a cafe, a vending cafe area. Glenwood was our only location without a classroom. Uh, and that was really a challenge to our instructors to be able to teach classes here and to provide the community with meeting space, which we also always get a lot of requests for across our system. We can do everything from computer instruction with our mobile laptop cart, which you'll see in the other studio in just a few moments, uh, to meetings, uh, to hands-on STEM classes. So we're just very excited about what we're going to be able to offer the community here through the Glenwood Branch. This is amazing. Not only is it such a fantastic addition, but uh, it's bright, it's open, it's got the windows. I think this is going to be something that transforms the library experience for a lot of our visitors. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, this is our community living room. You'll see the magazines, newspapers will be out on the, on the bottom as well. And this is a satellite for our art education collection. Folks can actually check out the artwork right off the wall. Um, one of the things that we picked up during the pandemic when we were still learning along with the rest of the world whether it was safe to touch materials and how we should be doing that uh, was a check it out app. So you can actually check out materials on your phone, grab your own holes, and be very self-sufficient in the library. You can also use the self-check kiosk. People love coming to the library to get their passports and this branch in particular. We now have a passport office to help with privacy concerns. There's a lot of confidential information that's exchanged there. People are taking photos. Can be done all here in, in the office. I'm gonna move you over. This is now our cafe slash collaborative space. This is always a branch with lots of light. We've done lots of modifications in the children's area and the adult areas to maximize that and really connect with the outdoors. So we've got this wonderful collaborative space uh, for teens where they can work on homework assignments um, independently or together. You'll see lots of these wonderful towers across the branch so folks can <laughs> plug in devices. There's always requests for where do I plug in my phone, my gadget, my laptop. And so you'll see those all across the branch. It's a beautiful space just to, to come out and be able to enjoy um, with a book with your latte uh, and with a friend. Beautiful. It is a gorgeous campus and our, our customers will be able to take advantage of that. So this is our new makerspace. We are so excited to have the first public makerspace in the county. You'll see a recording booth here that can be used from everything from podcasting to YouTube voiceovers to recording your favorite tune. We are so excited to welcome the community back to the newly renovated Glenwood branch. You'll find two new studios for instruction and community use, a brand new maker space complete with 3D printers, a laser printer engraver, a sound booth, a digital memory station, and more, a newly designed teen area complete with gaming, uh, a new children's area, soon to have a new interactive play space, community living room, and oh my goodness, so many new books for the community to check out. We've got a new patio outdoors to engage with the beautiful campus that the library sits on. We are so excited to see you soon. It's a challenge of what to do in a library now because we have less books but um, they've created a lot of, I'll get out of the way a little bit, they've created a lot of uh, meeting space and collaboration space. Hopefully we get the kids back in here in person um, instead of sitting home doing their homework uh, over their phones with each other. Um, it's bright in here. Um, you can see the baseball fields, there's outside spaces, um, the collaborator space, the maker spaces are actually really terrific as well. So hopefully it gets people back in the library, in person, face to face, you know, using their hands to create things.